Bianco. Check these views, guys. So, today we are in Medeglia, Medeglia, which is in Ticino. We are 746 meters up. Uh, it was a serpentine road to get here. Apart here, the village is basically literally uh, five minutes walk up here. And the land we're going to explore is this way, 800 meters behind the village. So first we're gonna check the Medeglia village and then we're gonna try to find the land. I've got a bit of a little map from the property agency and then we're gonna see if we find the house and land and uh, there should be uh, water and everything and let's see if you like it. The weather is not amazing, it's been raining, more May, especially here, but look at the beautiful views. I mean, it's just spectacular here, it's so beautiful. So yeah, let's see if we find the place. Just wanted to show you, you see these are castanas, basically, it's edible, chestnuts basically, but edible. And they're growing all over the place. This is why we like this area, because it's 700 meters up. And the vegetation is fantastic. It's not so high, it's not like 1000. So around 700, that's what we like. And look, this place is also very nice. Something like this would be nice, it's actually good access for this. So this is fantastic, yeah. So now we're gonna go to look for that first property. It's for 90,000 francs, which is not bad for Switzerland. And it has 1.1 hectare land and forest and drinkable spring water. So the camper is down there. Here is the village of Medeglia, entry. Here is Bianco. And it was just two minutes walk, basically. So now we are in the village. Camper is down there. And uh, yeah, I left it down there because there was a nice place to park, big and flat, because I was afraid to come here and uh, not being able to turn after, because these little villages, you never know. Medeglia, as you can see. Limite generale 50, maximum 50. And there is these castanas again, trees, the cherries, so it's a fantastic. Uh, 700 meters up is good. So yeah, let's check out the, the, the village and then we look for the land. So we are almost up in the, in the village, almost there. It's a very interesting place. Look at the views. Wow, it's awesome, so yeah. Let's see, a few more, few more turns and we're gonna be in the cent Centro Storico. This one is the typical Italian style, as you can see. You know, more traditional, older houses. So here we found like a bar, but they're opening at five. Perto tutti il giorni, which is around here. Chico de Oro, look at this. Magnificent, magnificent. And a little bit more, there is a little church up there. Here is Santa Maria, probably, or something like this. And I'm gonna keep walking, and the land is on that side. So let's get there. There is the church, cemetery, and again, nice gardens, all green, beautiful. This is where I wanted to get into park, but at the end, we stay down there. That is the Casa Par Piazza San Bartolomeo. It's all quiet because it's Saturday, so beautiful. So now we are on the way to the land, it's 500 meters away, somewhere there in that side of the forest. Let's see, it's called Via Dana. Now, this is another car park here, and now there is camper, and here starts the Via Dana. This is Via Campagna, this is the church, and we go down, oi oi oi. And then the forest now, 300 meters away, and I can hear the water down there, it's incredible. So now, this is what we have in a forest here, it's a private swimming pool. <laughs> Check this, it's amazing, there is a beach there. <laughs> can swim and abundance of water 200 more meters and we are there beautiful place beautiful place so this is what we have here beautiful water so clean it's incredible wow it's absolutely fantastic so this water source 100 meters from the house from the land, it's incredible. There is water absolutely everywhere. 
it's so green it cannot be greener there is a one house there also maybe it's this one actually let's check it out on the map there is one up there i don't know if it's this one or this one is not but yeah this is something like this let's keep walking it's beautiful so the house is on this land i see it it's up there i see the walls behind the trees we have to find how to get there now maybe this way or oh. we have to find the path walk there because obviously there is the house is up there yeah guys behind the trees we have to find a way let's see if there is a way the other house had a nice path walk to get to it so let's see if we find some kind of steps going into it another source of water it's incredible it's just incredible i've never seen so much water in my life to be honest everywhere is water so the house is on the left there must be some kind of entry to walk or something at least obviously not probably maybe this used to be the way i don't know we have to try to find it somewhere so yeah check the water everywhere it's incredible it is actually stopped for the car okay this is what i remember from the website there there's another there's another water source it's incredible the entry is here eh? Now, nearly there and there's another waterfall just incredible there's somebody parked here also this is just incredible there's water absolutely everywhere and hopefully here behind this term we're gonna get to the land Yanko, ready to see the land? Wow. Oh, we found the house. It's down here. This is the land. It's really steep. But there is a chestnut tree. There's a little cabin here. Down there. Let's check it out. The access is a challenge. But there is an access from the down. We're going to go down after to, to get out of here. So let's try to get down there. And then let's see what we have. If we find the house. Huh? Let's check it out. The access is brutal, but there must be another way how to access. Ah, the another access is here. Actually, it's not this one. It's Elizabeth. The house is here, not here. This is the other one. It's not this one. It's that one. There is two properties. Let's hope there is no. This one is one, and there is another one here. Yeah, I don't know. This one has also its own access here. Yeah? Oh, there is no dog somewhere. Huh. This one is also abandoned. Okay, let's check this one first. Yeah. There is one here. Wow. This one is nice, eh, actually. And there is another one here. That's the one that we were actually looking for. Wow, this one is nice. Write in the comments, 1 to 10, how much you like this ruin. It's not actually a ruin, it's quite good. It's pretty good, it's pretty doable. Here is a water source. Okay, so you have a water right here. This is spring water. Don't step into this, there is water here. Step over. Wow. Shall we check inside? Slowly, slowly. Baby, it's standing. Don't worry. Wow. I'm gonna look inside. Let's check it out. Steps. So nobody. Giorno. Wow. This is really, really green. There are animals, some tools. Ah, this is too almost put everything down and start from the scratch watch your steps Jambion let me check this one here this wall is nice wow okay let's check the other one now come down so this is the house that I found online that's why we are here Jambion is already crossing illegally the fence so yeah, way too just crossed. Wow, this is better. 
This is nice, this land. This is the house. I'm gonna take the dock now. Give me the leech. So this is the property. Let's check the entry and everything. Castanhas, chestnuts. Wow. Nice. The wolves are good. Wow, nice, eh? Here is the veggie garden, the forest. This is the entry. This is castanhas, eh? Look, chestnut. All in there. Wow. Super nice. So yeah, so the weather is not amazing today, but we found it. There it could be done a big window up there. It's 100 square meters. So we found the house. Here is the walk actually, back to the forest. So let's see where it gets us now. We're gonna follow this walk and yeah, let us know if you like this that little adventure. That was the first house we saw in Ticino, first property. Not bad, but the access is a, a bit of struggle. As you can see, there is a just path walk, but we have a water here, right here. That's fantastic. Check this. So yeah, solo con piedi. Just the walking distance, which is not amazing because I need to bring the camper and a I need to have at least 4x4 access for the car, but yeah, that's but the beauty, nature is beautiful. I mean, so let me know in the comments if you like this property, what do you think about this property? I think it's a little paradise, but the access is a bit of a problem. So I would rate it around 7 from 10. Let me know how you would rate this property. And also, uh, it's really in a the forest. There is not so much. It's one hectare, but mostly forest. So the wood we will have. But to grow food and stuff, to do permaculture project, uh, the garden, I need a little bit bigger area too, to be able to do permaculture and to grow things. And, uh, and it's also quite steep, so it's not ideal. So we're gonna keep on searching. But this was just the first property. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out our next videos because we are on an adventure. We are looking for the new sunny hill. And uh, yeah, that was another point that here was not amazing view also. We want to have a nice view and wake up in the morning. It's all just trees in front of you. so you don't have the nice view of the of the of the mountains of the scenery which would be a negative point again so yeah so jambia what do you think about the property good but not amazing no 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 okay we're gonna keep on searching thanks for watching and see you next video for more have a nice day ciao so the walk actually was here starting and then going through the forest there to the property which is behind these trees this one is also interesting It'll be interesting to check more properties around but yeah now we're going back.